Welcome to the Love Them Knives channel. LTK here. Uh, we've got knives. It's just been one of those days, I swear to God. Everything's upside down and backwards, as per usual on my channel, right? This is the model F755. One for satin, OR for orange. There's a box for the GR for green. And these are cool. I saw these... Um, Ah, crap. Probably on Instagram or something. And I thought, Ganzo's making a little cleaver knife. How crazy is that? It's crazy. It's crazy good. I mean, it's it's fun. It's whimsical. It's different. It's not practical. And I don't care. Because every, including, I'm not alone. Everybody's like digging these little cleaver things. And of course, at this, that, at at the day I'm taping this, it's in December of 2017, it's really difficult to find these for sale anywhere. They're just sparse. I haven't even been able to find them yet on Gear Best, but I'm sure they will be there. I'm sure they will be everywhere. Um, but how crazy, huh? Yeah. Um, I'd say the action on these is pretty good considering... I'm betting that they don't have bearings and I haven't taken one of these apart, but it looks like, it looks like I had a look. It looks like I'll check it out later. That's what it looks like. Come on, let's look down here. Nah, you got the synthetic, you got, you know, how, if, you, if you're not familiar with how the Ganzos look, look at the top washer, bronze. Look at the bottom one, like nylon. That's what they do. When they don't do bearings, that's what they do. Why they do that, I don't know. I'm sure there's a reason for that. But these really... Let me check this one. Not bad. Actually, not bad. I mean, you know, I'm letting up on the... So, yeah, pretty good action. You know, not necessarily need bearings to have good action on these... But it, I mean, it doesn't drop, you know, where's my, like the 760, okay, the 760, see what I'm saying, that thing is crazy, just drops and bounces, where this one, see, no, but I mean, just a little flick of the wrist, and it goes home, daddy going home. Yes, it is. And these are a lot of fun. I don't know. I might have to get one in every color. And, okay, you can get them in green. You can get them in orange. You can get them in black. And carbon fibers coming out. So I think somebody has one already that was yakking on my Instagram saying, I already got the CF one. It's like, well, it's awesome to be you. But right now, got to do with the green and the orange. Although I posted these on my Instagram. Oh my God. <laughs> it was, it's just, this is ridiculous, right? These are like, I don't know, 20 bucks. And there's people just like falling all over themselves. Where can I get one? Where? I, ooh, they're awesome. They're so cool. Because there's such a big following for the Ganzo Firebird line. And then when they come out and do something crazy like this, it just... You know, people go crazy. Uh, and I understand it, because I did. I went searching. I'd be pissed if I didn't have one right now. But I got these at Power Cutlery. Power Cutlery. I'll put the link in the description section. And they don't have them in stock right now. But I talked to John over in Power Cutlery. I didn't talk to him. I emailed him, actually. And he emailed me back says, Got a load of them coming in next week. So, the week before Christmas, so that would be the week of the 18th of December, 2017. I'm dating this video, but there you go. Um, there, you know, stay up on the site. They come and they go in and out. I'm sure Gear Best is going to get a billion of them, and then all all things will be good. Except Power Cutlery is right in the USA. You can get your knife in three days instead of three weeks. Three weeks. So how big a old boy is this? 
Well, let's compare it to the Manix. And boy, I don't know. I'm sitting here looking at it going, I mean, you know, usually these Ganzo knives are somewhere between 3.3 and 3.5 inch blade. And I didn't pull any paperwork because tack with it. We got Bertha. We don't need no stinking paperwork. And it's three and a half to the back of that choil. Uh, three and three eighths to maybe the most forward part on the scale. So can we call it three and a half? Just lie a little bit. Now cutting it, barely three inches if it's that. Barely three inches. Uh, total length, just under eight inches. Just under eight inches. Eh, between 19 and a half and 20 centimeters. So you're looking at about mm, 85 millimeter blade. That's not bad. That's not too bad. So it's, you know, it's almost the same size. This is eight inches. This is just under. So it's basically the same size. I mean, for all intents and purposes. Check it out like that. That aspect ratio. They're right there. They're right there. So, all right. So it's EDC size. What does that mean? It means it's EDC size. Hold on. 3.2 millimeters blade stock. Yeah, eighth inch. Okay. Eighth inch. Let's grab it at some other place and see if we underestimate it. Nah, it's eighth inch. So 3.2. Okay. Overall fatness on the handle. About 13 millimeters, half inch. What do you think? Let's see. I I Oh, I posted a picture on my Instagram with these knives. <laughs> I was at the pub and I, you know, ran them through a lime uh, next to my beer that had a lot of limes in it. And um, so that's about the most cutting I've done with them. Okay, 440C, stainless. That works. How about this one? You gonna work? I guess. So, yeah. Now I'm, I'm going to mess this up, right? I'm going to mess this up. Give me some, give me a clean slate. Give me a clean slate. There you go. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, got to get a grip. Got to get a grip. Got to get a grip. There you go. So, both of them are relatively sharp out of the box. You're no good. Get out. I just think they're cool. Check it out. Let's see if they're worth the crap. Um, it doesn't look too bad. As, you know, as far as the plunge goes, um, it's flat, so it ought to be a great slicer. Maybe a good chopper. I don't know. What would you use this for? Food prep? Cutting them limes. That'll work. Um, you know, the scales, G10 scales, they're pretty grippy. Check that out. And you got the blue hardware. Okay. And you got the G lock. Pocket clip. Right hand tip up, and can we go left? Yes, we can. So left hand, right hand, reversible, tip up carry, huge front choil, and the choil people will be happy because, you know, for sharpening the knife and everything, do we got choil? We got choil. What do we got here? We got jimping. Do we have jimping here? We got jimping here. Which is not terribly significant because you can tell it's not really raised above the level of the scales. But you push and yes, you will make contact with that. Jimping on here, yes. So can you come up like this? Yes. 
for very controlled cutting. Who knows what you might be able to do that? Get a clove of garlic and shave it. and I mean, you could do some different things. Yeah, you could. See that palm swell? Fits in the hand really good. You got this little front choil area. So, yeah, your fingers fit on here. You got a lanyard hole in the back. Will they just think of everything? And a backspacer that also has some traction on it. So you got traction on here, none under here, traction on here, jimping here, yes, jimping up front, front choil, really comfortable like this actually, really comfortable, but you could, yeah, this is fine. Reverse grip for some reason, whatever that'd be worth, right there, and yes, that feels okay. And, you know, the pocket clip comes up and kind of lays over, so it's it's not, you know, where it hits me is right between these two fingers here. So, no, it doesn't bother me. If I go forward, it hits me right in here. Nah, not, not especially a problem there either. Uh, so, no real hot spots uh, from what I can feel on this knife. And you can see, if you look in here, that it's skeletonized. You know, if we had a flashlight, I'd show you even better. There you go. Keep the weight down. Up and down. Pretty slick right there. So, what do these weigh? What do you think they weigh? Guesses. Ah, I'm going to say 3.8. Oh, 4.1. Okay, a little heavier than I thought, but that's not bad. 115 grams. I like to guess it. You never know. 4.1. Okay. Aren't these cool? I wish I had a hundred of them from all the people that have been asking me because they saw mine. I posted them on Instagram. It's like throwing raw meat in front of a dog and pack of dogs. I mean, they've been like, oh, yes, I yes, I want yours. Or where can I get one? And it's like, I don't know where you can get one right now because they're out of stock at power and haven't seen them on Gear Best yet. So, but they'll show up. They'll mosey on in sometime that away yeah and you know they well in case you're not familiar with the ganso firebird thing i guess i should do this right should i do this okay i'm gonna do this uh i probably got this upside down no i don't okay so you get them in a in a box with it's got a slide out tray and like that and then they come in a bubble pouch like yay and you get a microfiber pouch as well. So, I mean, it's, it's 20 bucks. <laughs> it's 20 bucks. Uh, these knives are so um, affordable. And they're, I mean, you know, I heard one guy say, well, I kind of put mine through pretty tough use for a year. And you know what? It's starting to get a little play. And it's like, is 20 bucks <laughs> throw it in the garbage get another one i mean it ain't a 300 hundred dollar knife but you know what i've heard from other guys that have ha had and used their ganzo knives pretty hard and never had any problem so i don't know i just think they're an amazing value you know i like this uh 761 model that doesn't have bearings either the 760 model does have bearings but I like this design it's really cool and you'll catch these on a flash sale here and there on gear best I think I got this one for like 13 14 I mean that's crazy that's crazy good and this one maybe like 20 21 bucks I mean it's got the carbon fiber g10 laminate but so do a lot of more expensive knives that I won't name right now and 440C steel, I'm old enough to when 440 came out, it was some stuff. 
So, I mean, did it all of a sudden just turn to junk? No, it's still a good steel. It's still a good steel for a budget knife. That's for sure. So just saying, these are sharp. They'll sharpen up a lot easier than, you know, a high end, you know, boutique steel will. And they still hold a good edge, very usable. There you go. Very flickable. I really like the fact that, you know, when they first came out, they didn't have the blued hardware and they didn't have the skeletonized liners and stuff. And they've really done that. I mean, you know, they listen to the people uh, when they ask. I don't know that anybody asked for a blued hardware, but they wanted skeletonized uh, liners to lighten it up. And the, the pouch that it came with at first was just this big, ooh, it was, a, it was not good. Now it's a real microfiber thing, so that's really cool too. You know, very responsive, right and left hand carry. I mean, they're just putting it to you, right? Backspacer that matches the knife. Uh, I like them. I really do. They're a good EDC size. You know, and the thing is, yeah, you're going to have a little bit of situation here. This is a lot of real estate front and back in your pocket, I guess, if it's that big a deal to you. I don't see you carrying this knife, or I don't see me carrying this knife on any formal occasions in any case. This is more like, uh, you know, just casual carry, throw it in your jeans or something. But yeah, 1.75 inches, that's, that's out there a ways. What's that? 44.5 millimeters, yeah. I mean, so you've got some, some distance here, but hey, you got a cleaver. If you're going to carry a cleaver, carry one and carry it with pride, my friend. It's Ganzo time. It's Ganzo time. I saw Birdshot 4 and Jimmy Slash jumping me on the Ganzo stuff. They didn't mention me. I'm just saying they... They put all the Ganzos out on the table. I will not be out Ganzoed. <laughs> yeah, it's just fun. There's just so many people that really like these knives. I do. I think they're a lot of fun. Hell, they're so inexpensive. And they're great carry. And you know what? You shouldn't be ashamed to put these in your pocket and be proud to carry them. You know, I've seen some knives at the $20 price range I wouldn't be caught in public with. But these... Absolutely. Absolutely. Very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, I'm going to let you go. You know what we do around here. We have table sales. We have pass around groups. We have Trader's Corner on the 10th of every month. You thought I was going to say, we love them knives. So stay sharp.